Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a JUnit 5 test inside of Android Studio. So first I need something to test. I've got a standard uh, Android Studio project open here. I just made one from the template. I'm going to now create a Java class, a plain old Java class that I want to test. I'm doing a plain old Java test here. Now let's just call this car. Imagine we have a car. Um, I'd normally, in fact, why don't I do this? I'll put it in its own package just for completeness. Package, and I'm going to call this one model. So now I've got a model class. I'll drag and drop my car class into there. Okay, so inside of car, let's give it some data. Uh, private, and let's give it a make. Oops, string, and it's make. There we go. And I'll shift insert to give it a constructor, and I'll do shift insert again to generate some code, and I'm going to do getters and setters for my make. Okay, so I just have a very simple Java class to work with. Now, the easy way to create a test is you click on the name of the test, the name of the class, hit Alt Enter, and it'll give you the options for what you want to do there, the context menu. I'm going to say Create Test. So when I say Create Test, I can pick what kind of test I want. Well, I want to do JUnit 5, so I'll select that. And why not? I'll tell it to give me a few of these functions to start with. Now, you'll note here it says that JUnit 5 library not found in the module. I could click this, but let's imagine we forgot to. And it's going to ask me where do I want to put it. This is actually an important question because these look the same, except one says Android test, and the other one just says test. I'm testing plain old Java code, so I'm going to put it in the test folder. If I was doing a, like an Android UI test, I'd put it in the other one. So now it gives me the code, but it's got a compile time problem. If I mouse over it, it says cannot resolve symbol Jupyter. So I'm going to go Alt-Enter on that. I'm going to try the autofix here. Add JUnit 5.4 to the class path. It looks like it did something great for me, but, well, it changed this file, that's nice. But it didn't actually change, get rid of my bug. So the fix here is to go to File, and then Set or Project Structure. And inside of Project Structure, select Modules, and, oh, pardon me, Dependencies. And on the dependencies, you'll note here that it has J, uh, JUnit Jupyter, but it doesn't have a requested version. That's actually our problem. So pick any of the relatively recent versions, and then select OK. It says Gradle Resync in progress, and when that's done, my errors are gone. And let's just prove that this works. I'm going to write a quick test here. I want a car object. I'm going to call it C equals new car. And let's give it a make of yo with an exclamation mark. And then I can say assert equals that uh, yo is equal to the c dot get make. And now if I go control shift F10, we'd like it to run this. However, I happen to know it's going to fail. If I look up here. It says, JUnit Jupyter test fails, uh, no tests were found. Oh, and that's here. I can get rid of this. And it wants to import, needs to pull it in from the Jupyter. What I'm in fact going to do is, I'm going to get rid of the other JUnit testing suite. So I'm going to go up here to Project Structure, and then back into App. And I'm going to get rid of this JUnit 4, because I don't want to do JUnit 4 tests. Hit Delete. In fact, I can also click on the minus here to get rid of it. And that's going to get rid of my one issue here, where it was starting to get confused about JUnit 4 or not. But it's then not going to allow me to build this other file. If I expand my testing folders over here on the left, you notice how it's got in the brackets Android test versus test? So I expand that. Here's the one that I just wrote, the good one. But down here is the one that was provided for me with this. I don't want that anymore. I'll delete that. And now I'm back to just having my normal tests that I want, the file I presented. I'll rerun my code, and now we'll see that the test runs and passes. And I'll put one in here just to show what it looks like when it fails. Again, Shift F10. Now it's actually only going to run that one uh, method, my one test function, because I was inside this test function when I told it to run. I'm going to click out of that, so I'm down just inside the class. I'm going to Control shift f 10 
which will now force it to run the whole class. And we can see that one of my tests failed, as expected, down here. All right, that's all I wanted to show. Thank you very much.